Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to me, Dave Pomphouse, and the Colchester Kriegspiel. We've just had the 2 p.m. turn, and it's all changed. These commanders, they they keep uh, giving me surprises all the time. Unbelievable. So, the gate, we've said, has been breached, and... Honeywood has elected to just to keep bombarding these guys on the wall. How effective it will be depends on these uh, dice here. Uh, he, he's going to wait for a little bit. He's told Fairfax he's going to bombard the town walls for another half an hour and then launch his attack. So that is two good effects. Ooh. And the damage. A six and a three. Ooh, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna hit Chuk. Probably take about eight to ten men off of him. That's probably gonna take about three or four off of Colonel Bird. In addition, we have firing Colonel Bird and these dragoons at long range. Five and a one. So Colonel Bird will take a little bit more damage there. I want to... I know some people might be thinking, okay, well why why doesn't the battery now fire out? Unlikely. They're, 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 they've trained their range at the gate to blast any regiment that comes through here. So that that's the battle at the Balkan Gate. We've got... Uh, now I, di I didn't roll for these too much because, yeah, you know, with, with the regiment of foot that was on on the wall, yeah, the houses backwards and forwards. I rolled it a couple of times and it just didn't seem like they were doing enough damage to one another. I I'll roll it one more time, considering what's happened with uh, the regiment of foot. So we've got a four. And a two. Again, they won't do any damage. Oh, a six and a two. So that won't do any damage, but that will definitely knock a couple of, a couple off of this mixed regiment here. But, like I said, it's all change. Charles Lucas has given me yet another surprise. He has uh, saw that Lyle has not elected to move to the Eastern Gate. There was a bit of confusion with regards to the orders that Kappel was given out. But, actually we can get rid of that. He's, he's seen that already. What Lucas has done is he's taken his what, three volunteer regiments and he's going to march them to the East Gate. And he says as soon as he sees Colonel Bowman he'll make him march back again. Um, that's that's the confusion of command, I suppose. Even though they're right next to each other and they could talk, that they 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 didn't. Um, what he has done, and he might have even saved the day by doing this at the Balkan Gate. He's put his own regiment of foot and the unbloodied first unit of volunteers to go under Kappel's command. At the gate, I I don't think this is ever gonna fall now. I mean, you've got one, two on the wall. You've got the cannons, man in the breach, and uh, Gilbert and, and and Chester. That are gonna fire at any regiment that comes through. I f I feel quite bad for for the first person who's who's gonna get the report of trying to go through this gate historically and and even today the Balkan gate still still stands it is one of the smallest gates maybe I should have made the gatehouse ever so slightly smaller uh, to discourage that but uh, they're, they're doing as the Celts did to the Romans and coming through that hole in the wall I mean you can't write this shit you can't write it uh, over here in uh, the east You've got uh, Barkstead 
and Delbra, they're not going to give up the chase with regards to this cavalry. I don't even think they realised <laughs> they're not going to be able to catch this cavalry. It can move wherever it wants to with, with near impunity. Um, I was going to roll the dice one more time to see if this cavalry wanted to engage this cavalry, but I think it's it's fairly too too far away now. Fairfax has not elected to move this turn. He, he's got his scouts. Yeah, a few riders kind of watching watching what's going on. I know Jan's busy with the uh, with the Kriegspiel, as he is our commander in chief in that game too. Um, but yeah, what to what to do with with this cavalry? I mean, other than send them back into the east gate, I don't think Lucas will be too happy uh, with with that. If if I'm if I'm honest, in fact, I mean, they may have even used the ground well. I mean, if you were sitting here on a horse and and you saw that you could engage that cavalry, but you'd be hit in the pack pretty pretty soon by a bunch of infantry would, would you go for it you know you could chase off Fairfax would you do it if they do it then Fairfax is out of the game and these guys will will be out of the game as well so I don't know maybe I should roll for it oh, I, don't, I don't know I don't know I don't know whether I should do it I don't know where I should be should be mean because right so let, let's 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 do this so if they were gonna charge so I mean they could move that's the maximum they can move in a turn so they could get them and then charge but then 300 yeah they they they'd be on them in a shot they would have one turn to do damage um fuck it let's make it interesting for them let's make it interesting Will Colonel Hammond, Gascoigne, Goring, and Compton, all brave men all, try and charge the cavalry? Will they think that the infantry will not get there in time to support? Let's roll it. Four, five, six, they do it. One, two, three, they stay where they are. <laughs> I rolled I rolled that as fairly as I could. All right, let's let's give them a let's make a move. We could we could make them do it the whole way. But yeah, they're going to they're going to go. They're going to go for it. And as as they're moving, they could they could see that uh yeah. Fairfax can, can see that Major Delborough and Coleman are... So, they've moved. And... <laughs> Fairfax can see that they're, they're gunning for him now. They're gunning for him. The infantry's too far away. It's, it's, it's a charge back. Do not get caught at the halt. So, they're going to move in as well. And it is... Full on bloody murder. I'm I'm not gonna have fair. I don't know. Maybe I should go. But the thing is, Fairfax, bless him. He's dodged a bullet three times already. I don't know whether I should be that cruel. But we're gonna have we're gonna have the cavalry uh, ha have a go at, at it. So they're going to be doing doing the rolls, and uh, these guys are going to be having their day in the sun as well. 
and look at all that. So bearing in mind Royalist Cavalry do get plus one on their roll. Let's see what the damage is. Oh! Oh it's bloody murder! Right, so we'll have these two hit uh Major Coleman for a seven and a four and a six and a five on the other side to be met with a four and a two. Ouch! It is all charge, all go, as the cavalry have a big old engagement just south of Old Heath Road. Let's see what the damage that it's done and we'll be right back. So let's see what those dice have done to the scores on the doors. The cannons have hit, like I said, a few off here, a few off there, nothing too major. The uh, shooting backwards and forwards with these uh, dragoons. I feel like these dragoons probably will now, uh, after after getting a bit of a hit. There, I mean, there was only 50 men in 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 this band. I feel if they take another hit, no matter what it is, they'll they'll start to retreat. Uh, because that rolled a six, Colonel Farr has, has scored a good a good solid hit on uh, this mixed regiment here i feel they've had enough and and they're gonna they're gonna retreat they, they they've had enough of the, the sniping match what i didn't do is is roll for the artillery so we'll do that now that's a good effect with damage of one doesn't really matter uh, to to be honest uh, that hot shot fires in but probably lands on the on the stone streets nothing too bad but over here Eek. oh dear oh dear oh dear oh dear Coleman is disrupted after seeing nearly a third of his men go down Coleman is very much the same I think next turn we're gonna roll to see if Major Delbra gets out of it or maybe even Fairfax might want to call call a retreat to this cavalry but they look like they might be chased off might be the end of Fairfax and, and this game maybe he has to just ride back down south and, and, and lick his wounds but that that was a big charge that was a big charge but that's that's the risk you take yeah you, you, you separated your you, you, your commands there but everyone's going to be surprised by that and uh, yeah we'll, we'll move on to the next turn ah. see you later everybody I've just reread Fairfax's orders he ordered his cavalry to swing north and engage the Royalist cavalry so what we've done is we've made a little retcon. We're going to have them engaging on Old Heath Road and to give ever such a slight advantage to Delbra and Coleman because they're actually coming down the hill. They're, co they're coming downhill. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put shock on all of these cavalry. That makes sense. That that might even things up a little bit. We'll see. But Fairfax is going to get he's going to get the message that uh, the Royalist horse have engaged him as well. Will the infantry get there in time? It's going to take at least two moves for him to get there. By that time, I still think Fairfax might be driven off. But, uh, yeah. 
there was no there was no penalty for them you know m moving in it's just it it's just the dice um but yeah we've we've given a slight advantage there for the parliamentarian horse riding down the hill so we'll get the message to to fairfax about that um but yeah it's uh consequence of um a lot of late nights and a, a lot of misreading orders um to, to be fair I'll, I'll i'll have to uh I'll have to keep on top of that. But uh, as always, guys, see you on the next one. Take it easy.